Hey, what's going on everyone? Sean Hines here with Red Dirt USA. And tonight we're very proud to announce the launch of our Speed Tune Trigger or ST Trigger for short. Uh, the development of this trigger started back in August of 2019 after dealing with just pure frustration of trying to tune an STI stock trigger on one of their pistols. And what I mean by tune it is here's an old STI trigger that I had laying around this pre-travel tab right here. I'm sure you're all familiar with it, where you have to take this pistol completely apart, take this trigger out, and bend this tab, hoping that you get it just right. Go too far, you gotta take the pistol apart. Don't take bend it enough, you gotta take the pistol apart and readjust it. So I said to myself, there's gotta be a better way, right? There's gotta be a more precise way. And that's where the ST trigger came along. Um, first thing we'll take a look at it is, you'll notice there are no pre-travel tabs. Instead, you have two holes on either side of the trigger shoe, which are threaded. And what they'll do is they'll receive one of these Allen screws right here located in the bow. This Allen screw acts as a pre-travel tab, which allows you to perfectly and precisely set your pre-travel. Uh, the ST trigger is available in four different colors, black, red, blue, and silver. Uh, all uh, colors are available in small, medium, and large shoes, as well as curved or flat face. So what we got here is an old STI DVC uh, Limited Island pistol and 40 that uh, I shot for a couple years in, in USPSA. I have an ST trigger installed right now. Uh, no tuning has been done. A lot of pre-travel, right? A lot of pre-travel there. It's a pretty sloppy trigger right now because nothing's been adjusted. So what we have to do first is break this trigger, break this pistol apart, take it all the way down to the grip, and uh, we'll take it from there. All right, so got this PT Evo grip. The ST trigger is currently uh, designed around the PT Evo uh, grip. Uh, the shoe and the bow fit perfectly uh, with the PT Evo grip uh, of the test ones I got out there about 25 or so test uh, triggers out there for different guys. Uh, very, very minor fitting, very, very minor fitting, just maybe a little stoning on the top or the bottom of the shoe. Um, the vast majority of those uh, triggers that I sent out were completely drop in. So first thing I do is make sure uh, this trigger drops in and it should. It drops right in. There's absolutely no play. Oh, I'm sorry, there's no resistance. Uh, there's no binding, and that's what you need to check first to make sure that this trigger, when you rotate that grip over, it falls freely. And it's not getting caught on anything. Um, if it is, stone it, polish it. Uh, it should be very, very minor. That's for the PT Evo grip. Also fits drop-in on the staccato grips, so that's pretty cool. Uh, fits perfectly. Uh, right there, drops out, no issues at all. I uh, had a couple guys install them on an STI, the old uh, polymer grip, the tree bark grip, and they did have to stone uh, a little bit off of uh, the tops of the shoes, uh, but not a whole lot of issues there. So once you figure out, once you check, make sure there's absolutely no binding, that trigger moves nice and freely in your grip, you're good to go. So go ahead and put everything back together again and do a function check. All right, so we got that trigger into the back into the STI DVC Limited. Uh, did a function check, everything's good to go. But as you notice right now, there is a whole bunch of pre-travel, pretty sloppy trigger. And we're gonna show you how to do that right now, how to adjust that. And uh, I guarantee you can do it in under two minutes. So first thing I do, obviously everything's clear and empty, no ammo in the, in the area. I'm gonna take my slide off. Take your slide off and just set it to the side. At this point, go ahead and take off your thumb safeties. There we go. Yeah, I know that plunger's broke. Go ahead and take your thumb safeties off, set those to the side. With this PT Evo grip and uh, an STI frame, this grip safety is actually able to come right off. And that's it, guys. That's as far as you got to take it if you're able to take that grip safety off. If you can't take grip safety off, you just pop your mag well, pop your mainspring housing, 
uh, take your grip safety off and put this back on, right? The key to this is we wanna be able to cock that hammer and feel where that pre-travel is perfectly set. So once you get to that, we're then gonna take the Allen key that you're gonna get in your uh, trigger package. And what we're gonna do is make our adjustment. So you're gonna thread this on top of the bow to the right of the sear. There's a little gap right there. What you're gonna do is goes right into where that Allen screw is, that hex screw. And you can either put a little bit of Loctite on that screw while it's in the pistol, or you can just take it out if you're a, if you're a pretty good with that. Go ahead, put a little blue Loctite on there. Open guys running pretty high uh, power factor guns. Man, uh, even in some red Loctite with a long setting, uh, set time would be pretty uh, ideal. I've been shooting 40 limited with blue Loctite uh, for two years now and no issues. Never even had to adjust it after the first time. You know, be liberal with it. Throw a bunch of uh, Loctite on there, obviously, so it's not pouring all over the place. What you're going to do is thread it back. Remember I said above the bow to the right of the sear, you're going to thread that uh, hex screw right back through there and screw it back in. All right. What we're going to do now is we're going to slowly rotate that uh, hex screw clockwise while we're feeling, under hammer tension, we're feeling that pre-travel, right? So watch this. Just as I continue to turn it, watch that pre-travel just slowly disappear. There it goes. Almost gone. Right about, that's pretty darn good, right about there. I like it right there. So what we wanna do now is make sure that that half cock still works. And look at that guys, absolutely very little pre-travel. You could probably even take it a hair more if you wanted to. And that's the beauty about this. You can make very, very small incremental adjustments as you prefer, uh, as you want. And if you wanna just turn that screw another 16th of, of a turn, cool, that works, right? Adjust that pre-travel exactly how you want it. So let's make sure that half cock still works. Awesome, it catches, good to go, right? That half cock still works. Uh, I have a safety feature, you gotta make sure those are going, those are running and working, right? So that's it. All you do, put your pistol back together, let the uh, Loctite dry, make sure it's uh, cured. Manufacturer recommends 24 hours. Put your uh, thumb safeties back on. Little function test right there. Yep, they work. Put your slide back on. Got my little thumb rest there. Thing's awesome. And there you have it, guys. Perfectly set pre-travel. I could probably take out even a little bit more if I wanted to. I just like personally like personal preference, just having a little hair there. And perfectly set trigger, perfectly set uh, pre-travel in minutes. Obviously, then you want to go in and set your over-travel as well, uh, just like you normally would. So there you have it, guys. ST Trigger going on sale tonight. We're going live. Uh, appreciate any feedback, comments, any questions. Shoot me an email. Website is www reddirt-usa.com. All right, guys, you all have a good one, and I will see you out on the range.